Does it need a band or Yes, it does. Okay, my framing is a bit off, but how's everybody doing? So for those of you that don't know, uh, my name is Alex. I am a junior here at Colorado State University. And today I'm at the Environmental Learning Center. Um, I actually just got back. But today's video is going to be on bird banding. So like I said in previous videos, I'm a zoology and conservation biology major. And I'm taking ornithology this semester. Ornithology is just the study of birds. This week for lab, we've been kind of just going around bird banding. So bird banding is something you do when you want to track birds. Um, you can either track their migratory routes, get try to get population estimates or something like that. It's a really good way of marking birds and then recapturing them and then kind of figuring out where they were before this. You can even use it to predict where they're going to go. It's a really common method. It's used throughout the world to track birds, um, especially migratory birds. This week's lab, we are going out, we are bird banding, and then we're going to collect feathers for the Bird Genoscape Project, which is a project my professor's working on. I'll link a video that gives a better description here. National Geographic did a documentary on it. Basically, the Genoscape Project is like an Ancestry.com for migratory birds, kind of. What you're going to see in a second is us collecting tail feathers or DNA for a uh, building a massive data set or pool of DNA to choose from in migratory birds so that in the future we can identify like areas of conservation concern or something like that. Really cool stuff. Check out the videos in the cards if you want to learn more about the Bird Genoscape Project um, or about my zoology conservation biology majors. Here's just some clips from bird banding this morning. See you guys next time.